accused of trying to stab a soldier. Denmark is set to pass a law to confiscate refugees' possessions, in a move that has drawn comparisons to Nazi Germany and condemnation from the United Nations. The law would force refugees to surrender anything over about $1,500 in valuables in order to pay for their stay as they apply for asylum. Meanwhile, a new United Nations analysis reveals the number of people migrating to foreign countries increased by 41 percent over the past 15 years to 244 million in 2015. Of those people, the U.N. considers 20 million to be refugees. In France, residents of the Calais refugee camp, known as the Jungle, have vowed to peacefully resist authorities' efforts to evict them and bulldoze parts of the camp. Thousands of refugees live in the makeshift tents in Calais as they seek to enter Britain through the Channel, the Channel Tunnel. But French authorities want to resettle about 1,500 of them in storage containers which the refugees say resemble a prison and lack common areas like the makeshift kitchens and places of worship in the camp. Authorities have given the residents until tonight to move before they bulldoze a third of the camp on Thursday. In a statement, the residents said, quote, We, the United People of the Jungle, Calais, respectfully decline the demands of the French government with regards to reducing the size of the jungle. We have decided to remain where we are and will peacefully resist the government's plans to destroy our homes, they said.